Welcome to the Midweek Update with your host, Stuff with Cletus. And Dudes with Wrenches. Better? This week in automotive news, Tesla, now the largest automotive manufacturer in the world, has a big update that is expected to shake up the smartphone market. Elon Musk, seen here smoking the devil's lettuce, has announced that Tesla will be making a smartphone. The smartphone is expected to cost between $900 to $1,200. The smartphone will be called the Tesla Pi. Musk says the phone will be able to use the Starlink satellites for better coverage. And it also has a b- ability to mine Mars coin to earn extra money for the phone user. Mars coin is a cryptocurrency that's created for Mars for currency on Mars. So for anyone that is tired of Earth coin, here's your way to make some Mars coin. GM heated seats. Instead of putting a hold on vehicles not having the factory General Motors pulled a multi-million dollar rabbit out of its hat Friday, telling its dealers it's figured out a way to resume offering two popular features on its vehicles. The move could keep some of Cadillac, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC's most loyal and affluent buyers from defecting to other automakers. Starting in the first half of 2022, the automakers dealers will be able to activate heated and ventilated front seats on vehicles built without the features due to a shortage of computer chips that control them. GM had initially said the shortage would keep it from offering the immensely popular features on the majority of its 2022 vehicles. It planned to save its limited supply of chips for the highest priced, most profitable models. GM is building vehicles without the chips at this time. GM now expects to have enough chips to have dealers retrofit them before late in the second quarter of 2022, making the features available to everyone who has bought a new vehicle. Back to right. you, <laughs> In YouTube automotive news, Mortsky Repair has found a 1984 Chevy K20 abandoned farm truck. It is a red 1983 Custom Deluxe. The video is titled 84, but he says 1983 in the video. So it's one of them, maybe. It's a pretty good looking truck, and overall, it's a good shape. Duff also seems to like the truck, so it's a keeper. This video is another watch. Medium price of new cars in the U.S. is now 36270 This is an almost 4% increase in just one year. The increase is a large part due to the increase of SUV and truck purchases versus car purchases. The first October 2021 used vehicle price index shows an increase in used car prices for the month. Marking the first time in 25 years, prices have climbed from September to October. In other auto news, Motor Train has announced Lucid Air as its car of the year for 2022. The Lucid Air is a fully electric car that has a range between 450 and 500 miles per charge and will have over 800 horsepower. The car won due to safety, efficiency, design and value the car cost is a hundred and seventy thousand dollars i don't know about you but a hundred and seventy thousand dollars is not a great value for the common person most people had to sell their left testicle to be able to put down a down payment which mean wasted talents fabrications would have no balls speaking of wasted talent fabrications he has started his ls swapped nissan z on his channel Which is a good thing, because I was beginning to think he would change his name, his channel name, to Winch Trailer Fabricators. As we know, WTF has a great channel and is underrated. Unless you want to talk about that one trailer video, that was pure trash. In other news, 2021 Los Angeles Auto Show is making news. If there were any doubts about the future of electric vehicles in the U.S., the press preview days at the 2021 Angeles Auto Show should offer some clarity to that. 
with few expectations, the new vehicles at this year's show, which is open to the public from November 19 to the 28th at the LA Convention Center, are either full electric or electrified, providing plenty of choices for buyers in the market for a new EV. At the preview, new exciting EVs debuted for major automakers, such as Ford, Subaru, Nissan, Hyundai, and Kia, as well as lesser known brands, including Fisker, Vin Faster, Edison Future, and Mullen. The 2022 truck of the year has not been decided yet, but the finalist is what it's coming down to is the Ford Maverick. The GMC Hummer EV seen here with Grandpa Potis trying to figure out how to check the oil. The Hyundai Santa Cruz. The Nissan Frontier. The Rivian R1T and the Toyota Tundra. The Ford F-150 thinks that is cute. It might not win the truck of the year, but will outsell this truck, all these trucks like it has the past 40 years. While on the topic of the F-150, according to Motor Trend, the 2006 F-150 was the most stolen vehicle in 2020. Why? The 2004 to 2006 three valve 5.4 liter Triton with the cam phaser issues was some of the worst F 150s ever made. Oh, it has to be the insurance claim because nobody really wants these trucks. Nationwide, motor vehicle theft occurs every 40 seconds. The most stolen car is no longer the Toyota Camry. <clears throat> Last year, the 2000 Honda Civic is the most stolen car. And all I have to say is, it's all because of them dang Fast and Furious movies. They've changed everything. Hertz and Tesla are in a deal for 100,000 plus Model 3 vehicles. Car rental agencies maintain massive fleets, offering everything from basic commuter cars to Uber luxury vehicles. But what is hard to come by among these those 2 million rental vehicles were EVs. Mostly because early EVs were too small in size and the range just was not there. So far, Hertz is the only large company to offer EVs with any real effort. But as EV engineering has adapted to meet consumer needs, Hertz is hedging its bets, announcing it will purchase 100,000 Tesla Model 3s by the end of 2022 in what's estimated to be a $4 billion deal with Tesla. Hertz said it would earmark half of those initial vehicles exclusively for Uber drivers as a rental option. If the Uber program is successful, Reuters reports that numbers could increase to as many as 150,000 Model 3s by 2025. Mopar edition Dodge Durango debuts at SEMA. The Specialty Equipped Market Association, SEMA, show returned this week for a year off in 2020. Some used the opportunity to preview up-and-coming models, which is precisely what Dodge will do at this year's SEMA show, with a limited edition Mopar 22 Durango. Thanks for watching. This has been a midweek update with your host, Stuff with Cletus, and your special guest host, Dudes with Wrenches. Dudes with Wrenches link will be in the description. So make sure to check out his channel and show him some support. If you like this segment, please leave a comment or reach out on Instagram. If you do not like this segment, keep it to yourself. Thanks again.